Nothing but excitement. Uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us. Uh, BYU team we played already. You know, but we're both different teams, so it's going to be a tough matchup. Great game. Do you like seeing the same team, or does it really matter? At this point, no. Nah, you just want to be in there and, and play games. That's all you want to do. It's the last team standing from here on out, so you just want to be able to play. Dan, what was your reaction when, when you got the news? Oh, when I, I seen us, because I remember last year, we were second. We popped up second. So it was Oklahoma State, then we popped up. But this year, to see our name come up first, it was very exciting. And um, just playing BYU, it's a new season. They're a new team, we're a new team. So you just got to prepare for what they're going to do and get ready to play. How did Elshin feel about going home and playing in front of us? Did you talk about that at all since it came up? Uh, no, nah, he, um, he said he would like to go, but we, nobody knew where he was going. So, I mean, for him to hear that, he's probably excited. He's, I know he's excited to play there and all his family get to see him. Jonathan, you mentioned both of you are very different since that game in December. Can you really rely on anything from that game at all, or do you have to start fresh? Uh, we can, just just because, you know, see how they play their uh, their zone defense. It's a little bit of a hybrid. So just see how they do it and uh, see what type of plays they run, you know. But that, that's all we can really take from it because uh, Kyle Collinsworth is hurt, so they're going to be playing differently. You know, he was a big part of the game here. So, you know, uh, they're going to be having different lineups and stuff, and, and they might have a different different attack now, not, now that he's go, go, not playing. But both of you guys kind of about Tyler Hawes. He was kind of one of the leading scorers in the nation. Just kind of what you remember on him and the key to kind of defending him. Mid uh, mid-range game is vicious. Uh, yeah. You know, one dribble, two dribble pull-ups. Great, great uh, free throw shooter. Can get to the rack. He has a complete offensive package, really. Are you Danny? What do you remember? You remember uh, him? Exactly the same. Like mid-range, um, one dribble, two dribble pull-ups. Can draw fouls. Get out in the lanes. Um, just got to stay attached to him, try not to let him catch it. Did Dana say anything to you guys after the announcement about you know, kind of a, a quick speech or anything, his thoughts on the matchup? Uh, he's just saying, you know, like we've been saying, you know, we're both different teams right now. We can't even try to look past them. Game was real close last time. Uh, there's no Saturday with, without getting past Thursday. So, you know, we can't be looking past or, oh, what's our next game or, or what, what brackets, da 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 da. Nah. First round. That's all we could look at. In December, you guys were talking about how you were so excited to play a team that was like your mirror image, so fast, up tempo. Is it still the same feeling? You said it changed a little bit, but that nah, style I mean, is there. Yeah, they still got the same same style of play, same tempo. You know, they're gonna try to score. They're gonna try to get up get up and down the floor. So, you know, it's still the same philosophy, most likely. You guys said you just decided to be playing, but where did you guys kind of go in today, expecting to be? And was the seventh seed a little bit higher, or about where you guys expect? I wasn't, I wasn't worrying about the C. I was trying to go to San Antonio. <laughs> I want to go back to Texas, actually. So we could, we could have been a 12th seed. I, I, I just wanted to go back home. So that's, that's, that's what it was for me. And I figured I figured we were going to be like 9, 10 nine, seed just from the stuff I've been hearing. So when we got seven, you know, I was, I was excited, you know, that they got a little respect. How was that different from last year when you guys were seated a lot lower than like the complete opposite. I feel like we were disrespected last year, you know? So we had, that was a little more motivation, had a little chip. But even now, you know, like I said, it's all about surviving advance, last team standing. So all I'm worried about is, you know, what, what team's in front of us. Players on this team have tournament experience, especially last year, long run. Does that help going into this year's tournament? Yeah, just having some uh, some guys that have, that have gone through the experience, you know? to let other people know what it's going to be like, you know, how hard people have really play in these tournaments, you know, because this is this is all or nothing. So, you know, people are really giving it their all. And, and if, for somebody not to experience that yet, they they don't know. So it's it, it'll help for us to tell them, like, just what you got to be ready for, because, you know, people are, are, are trying to take your head off if you're in the way, you know, so. You guys going with it? Last year, you're disrespected, now respected. Last year, you guys won the two games with kind of the chip. Do you go in with the same? Mentality you think this group this year? Same same focus every game. Um, we just gotta focus on what we gotta do, like defense, rebounding, like we've been working on the whole year. Yeah. Executing our offense and just um just practicing hard before we get out of here and when we get there just be very focused and get what we gotta do. Do what we gotta do. Yeah, nothing. Do you feel like defense and this is obviously a good offensive team scored ninety six in overtime with you guys and kinda of kept that going. 
What's uh, you feel like your guys' defense obviously better than them, but is it kind of where you guys want it to be going up against a high-powered team like this? Uh, I mean, back when we played them in December, we were still trying to figure out um, like how 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 we was playing and. They was playing good. We was playing good at the same time, but it was a it was a fast game, so you couldn't really get off. It was fast break, fast break here, layup, layup. So I mean, if we get the, if we slow them down and they try to slow us down, I believe it's gonna be a, a long, exciting game. You guys went in last year winning the tournament, so you went in with a you know, positive memory. This one, you know, you obviously lost by over 20 points to UCLA. So how does that? How is your mindset different um, this year? Uh, I don't believe it's different at all. We got different players. Um, so it's not the same team. So, I mean, we we just hungry and we wanna wanna play play for a long time. And who we just focus on our next opponent is BYU Thursday. Yeah, it's just time to bounce back. Uh, taking that loss, you know, we we got a sour taste in our mouth. So, you know, we we didn't feel like we showed people our our best game. We didn't give it our all. So we about to go out there and, and do the complete opposite and leave it all out there. You guys think back at all? I mean, a month or so ago, this day was in question. I mean, you kind of look back to, especially Johnny as a senior, the fact that you are here talking about the NC2A when it could have really kind of gone the other way for you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm blessed. Well, no, I'm, we're blessed that we, we get to, that we're in this position. You know, like you said, a month ago, it was out of the question. So we, 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 uh, we fought through adversity. You know, we showed great character and, and we fought back so we could, so we could put ourselves in this situation. That's what made it even more sweeter when we when we saw our names up there on that seven seed. See that to Damien that you sort of I mean how close you guys were to maybe letting it all slip away, make it today even kind of more more special for you guys? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we was going through the five game losing streak. Nobody knew what was going on. We didn't know how to fix it. Coach was telling us just keep our heads up and just keep playing hard and things are gonna work out. And uh he always he I mean in practice he always told us we want to go to a three-letter tournament or a four-letter tournament. So that just motivated us to play hard and practice hard. And, and ever since, ever since that fifth game, we I feel like we picked it up and everybody f figured out what they wanted. Like for the seniors, they want to go to the tournament. We want to go to the tournament. We got people on our team that haven't been. It's the first time for them. My second. So I mean, I'm still excited. But we just we just picked it up. I, b I believe after that fifth loss, and we was like, we can't go out like this. What was Joe Young's reaction? Who Joe? Oh, yeah. uh, it's his first one, so he he was excited. He been talking about it all week, yeah. so he was excited. He wanted to go to San Antonio too. Jamie, <laughs> you had a great tournament last year. I think you averaged about seventeen, had a career high in that game. Do you go into a tournament game with some confidence? Kind of what you learned those last three games last year. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, right now I don't really don't know where my head at right now. So, cause I uh, coming off coming off the tournament game, the Pac-12. Probably, I think what like three for three for sixteen or something like that. So, I mean, I just got to get in the gym and just focus. It's gonna be a couple of days where I get in the gym, like today, tonight, tomorrow, and just just focus on what coach tell me to do, catch and shoot, and just stay on balance and just play hard. It's gonna start with me playing defense, trying to get some rebounds, and just play my game. You guys used to this by now, juggling finals and silly tournament appearance. Is that something on your mind this week? Uh, that's you know, it just comes with the territory. You know, I'd rather I'd rather be juggling it than not juggling it. You know, than having to just be in Eugene and worrying about finals. Now we get to you know go on the road and, and playing in one of the biggest tournaments of the year. So, it's, uh, I'd rather have that problem than not have it. Yeah. The matchup with BYU is that? And do you expect to see any pretty fast paced again like that one? Or you mentioned teams are different. Do you feel like you guys are playing kind of the same style? Yeah, it's still both of our both of our strengths is still to get up and down the floor. So at the end of the day, you're gonna play to your strengths, you know. So yeah, I, I see that still happening.